So right here we have our current production. Let's hear how it sounds. Now this is an eight bar loop, right? So yours can be in MIDI or can be in um, audio formats like this. It doesn't matter. Most times when I make my sounds, I do render my sounds into audio, right? So it doesn't, it doesn't make a difference if it's audio or if it's MIDI, all right? But it's still, we're still going to have the same results. So you can see some of the MIDI um, parts here. And now this is render audio file. So right here, you can see we have our drums at the top part of our um, playlist and we'll have our melodies and bass lines at the bottom, right? So what we're going to do first of all, we're going to highlight all of this. And I'll advise if you can, you know, label your tracks so it's easier for you to figure where, out where they are because these things can really get choked up or clunky most of the time. So you want to make sure it's more neat and easy to navigate. We're going to just push, give some space, right? Just make sure you maintain the labeled parts. That's if you labeled yours, right? Just give some space. There's no real parts, there's no real distance you need to keep, just enough space. And now you're going to see why. So let's assume we're starting with our intro, right? So holding alternate T, right, at the beginning, right here, we're going to label this intro. And typically, most intros are four to eight bars long, right? So let's assume ours is, um, let's say, eight bars long, all right? Then let's go straight into the verse, all right? And then our verse, we're going to name the same thing alternate T because you can see this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? And if you want to make sure your boxes are correct, you can click the horseshoe magnet icon right here and it says bars. So we want to count in bars because that's all that matters when we're trying to arrange our song. It's counted in bars, all right? Then most verses are eight bars, 16 bars, depends, right? So let's say we have our first verse at, um, let's say eight bars, right? Then alternate C, let's say we have a pre-hook, all right? Then after another eight bars, we have our main hook, all right? Our main hook can be about 16 bars. So we just need about um, 4, 8, 12, 16. So right here, we can have maybe um, a bridge, OK? And you see how this part sounds like as we progress, OK? Now we can have, let's say, a bridge. A bridge can be 4 bars or 8 bars. So let's just say 4 bars. Then we have our second verse, OK? And then um, let's just stop here. We don't want to go all the way with the arrangement yet. Let's just stop at second verse for now. So before we go further into the lesson, I want to let you know I do offer one-on-one -one private lessons where I teach you personally how to make better music. This is already almost halfway into 2022 already, and you should be making much better music than I'm sure you're making right now. So if you need help making more better music, hit the link in the description that says student form, and I'm going to get back to you promptly. And please do note, private lessons are not free, okay? You're going to get a ton of value, and it's only fair that I get paid for it, all right? So let's get back to the lesson. So now we're going to pick our elements from this part here. We just call this part our bank. Let's call this section right here our bank for now. Now we're going to move different parts to see how we can build. Now, when we're building, we're going to lay out the foundations of our song structure. Now, do we want to start with drums? Do we want to start with percussions? Do we want to start with melodies? Do we want to start with melodies and percussions or start with melodies, drums, and percussions? You know, this is where you start gradually picking it out from. Most times, I want to start with my lead chords, all right? Most times. So I'm going to just copy this right here. Now, this is already eight bars. So let's see how that sounds. So next thing, I want to add maybe some percussions playing. Let's, let me just copy the entire percussion without the kick drum, all right? And let's see how it sounds. All right, that sounds good. So let's see if we can, then we can now build into the verse, hook, pre-hook and everything else. Now, this is not how the intro is going to end up sounding. This is just us having the foundation for it, all right? So then our verse obviously wants our full drums to be in the verse. So we're going to just have with, with the kick drum, right? Then let's see how the verse sounds. Then we'll copy, of course, the main chords. Let's say I translate. So you always want to listen to see how it moves between the between the previous parts and the next parts. So 
Song structures vary, okay? Most times, the verse is more chilled than the pre-hook, and the pre-hook is more chilled than the hook, all right? Most times, it goes up like this. That is, the verse, it can be here, the pre-hook can be here, then the hook can be here in terms of energy level, right? But some artists do flip it the other way, okay? But most times, it's, it's this way, okay? It moves up like this. So let's assume our pre-hook is going to be more energ energetic, okay? But it's still going to have this right here and this right here, right? We just keep having this all the way, okay? And then um, our bridge can have, you know, a breakdown. It's more short. Bridge are usually more stripped down, more mid-tempo. So we can have just this here for now. Then before, you know, the verse kick starts again. But we're not going to build up the second verse yet. So we're going to hold on a bit, all right? So now let's come back and then we'll now build downwards, okay? Let's build downwards now. We've got very spread our foundation across. Now let's dig down. So now let's see what melodies we can add without it sounding too, you know, too energetic and intro. We want the intro to be a bit chilled. So let's see if we can have some strings. So one thing you should know, if you have over four bars, that is like eight bars, 12 bars, 16 bars, the, you have to make sure the energy moves, okay? By energy moves means maybe after every four bars or after every eight bars, you add in something sub to or take out something sub to. Let's say, for example, let me look for a more sub two melody, right? I could add maybe this guy, or I could add, let's say, this guy. Let's see, let's see how this will sound when I add it in, right? Just four bars in. That is halfway of the intro, right? Oh, sorry, I didn't position that well. Let's see. You can see how the energy went up a bit in the intro area, then came down in the verse. The verse sounded more chilled, right? So, so let's not do too much again, all right? Now let's let's leave the verse the way it is for now, because we might like I said, we want to build more energy. Let's move into the pre-hook, all right? So let's add maybe this melody here and see how it sounds. Obviously, our lead melody is going to be much more predominant in the main hook. Now, what we're going to do is, right, let's add maybe, let's come, let's see how you sound without the shaker. That sounds good. I think the shaker should start from the pre-hook, all right? So now let's add maybe a bass line in the pre-hook as well. That sounds good. All right, now let's move on to the main hook and then add This right here. That's another bass line. Then, of course, we're going to have our lead melody because most times you find your lead melody that is the most repetitive sound in your hook. So, we're going to copy this right here. Then. Then, let's copy this in here. Let's take this out. Let's have the strings in. 
Because sometimes this is like Lego blocks, right? So you have to move in a few pieces, a few parts to see which parts best fits in, right? Before you get the most ideal picture that you're looking for. Let's add maybe a, a baseline to the bridge. So we're going to look at transitions. And transitions simply means how the previous parts moves into the next part. I want it to move as seamlessly as possible. Either trying to raise the energy or trying to kill the energy, but you know, in a very, in a more smooth and coincise process, all right? So let's listen and see. So one of the few things we can use for our transitions are we can use drum rolls, we can use silence, we can use, um, we can strip down, maybe take out a kick drum or take out the drums with the melodies. We can just take out some parts, okay? Or add drum rolls and sound effects. These are the common ways you can use to spice up your transitions, all right? So now let's start with the easiest way we can do at the moment, which is taking out some parts. So let's say from pre-hook into the hook. Now, taking on a kick drum and it helps you know that a new part is about to come in, all right? And it doesn't come with so much surprise because it's already helping you build anticipation, all right? Now, let's look at the hook into the bridge. All right, so now let's look out into using drum rolls and sound effects. So right here, I have some drum rolls and sound effects. Nothing too fancy, right? Let's listen and see. And then we have this here as well. And then this guy. All right, so now let's see how we can have this into our song structure, all right? What we can do, right, let's have this right here, but make it unique and then reverse it, right? Then let's have this to move it a bit more flexible, okay? Okay, so that helps create that wash in. Come back to bar mode. Then let's have this also here again. Then we can have this also, like if you notice every eight bars, a new sound effect or drum roll comes in. Let's have this here as well. I think I'll prefer to have this sound right here. Then. Let's layer this right here and see how it sounds. Now we can build it into a second verse, second hook, and then an outro. So we're going to scrap our bank. We don't need our bank anymore. 
And then make sure it's all gone. So now you can see we have our verse hook, everything already built out. Now this sounds a lot more standard, like sounds a lot more professional, all right? So let's, you know. Uh, and let me also say, right, you don't always have to have a bridge, right, or a pre hook. This is just a common song structure that I find in most Afrobeat songs, okay? And you always need to have different drum rolls or different sound effects. If you use just one drum roll for your track or just one sound effect, okay? This is just to show you when you have options, you can combine them, okay? So let's see how this sounds here. So you can see our bridge from this side, right? It's already serving as our outro. And we can use that as our outro already. So we can just name this Alt T, right? Outro, and we can name this right here. Um, second hook. Right. And then we can also name this right here, Alt T. Um, second pre hook. All right, I think that's accurate. Okay, and if you don't want maybe your first verse and second verse to sound too similar, right? You can do a bit to bit of change by doing this. Take out the kick. You can even bring in a bass line a bit earlier, right? Let's see how it sounds. You can see the energy keeps stepping up, up, and up, right? So this is how I typically arrange um, my beats right into a full production. So I hope this helps. Leave a thumbs up if you found this helpful so that people that need videos like this on YouTube can easily find it. And hit the subscribe button for more tutorials. See you soon. Cheers.